for cards number 11 and number 12 in the card series that we are doing every Sunday using the Cricut Simple Everyday Cards. This is the first card. This is number 11, just because, and then there's the inside. Then we have this one, a little get well soon card, and then there's the inside there. All right, let's go to the computer and we will get started. All right, at the computer, you want to go to cricut.com slash design. You will see this screen, upper left-hand corner, where it says account. Click on that to sign in. Enter in your email and your password. When you see your name in that green box, that verifies that you were logged in. You want to come down here and click where it says create new project. Left-hand side toolbar, click on insert images. We're going to change this from all images to cartridges. In the search box, type in the word simple. And then what we want is simple everyday cards. Click on view all images. And we'll go to the right hand side below the funnel and click on the four squares to make the images larger. And the two we want, we gotta find those. The first one is right there, it's the Get Well Soon one. Now we want to find the Just Because card. I think I might have passed it, go back up top. All right. I'm looking for Just Because. I think it might be one of these because there's not two of those cards. I'm going to click on both of those. I'm sure one of them is the one we want, hopefully. Bottom right, click on Insert Images, and we'll see what happens. All right, there we have it. There's the one we want. We can go remove that card. So the one we want is the Just Because card. Because they are the same exact card, I'm going to line both of them up together. Take my mouse across both pieces, right-click and choose Group. So both cards and envelopes are grouped together. Left-hand side toolbar, click where it says Set Canvas. I'm going to scroll down, and I think either Design Space or my computer is going slow. I can't see the card here, but I'm going to go ahead and click on it anyway. All right, there's our canvas piece. Our cards are going up and down to where the canvas is going left to right, so I do want to change that. Right-hand side toolbar, click where it says Canvas. Under Type, change that from Vertical to Horizontal. You want to just take your card base. I'm going to line up the entire card here with the canvas piece there. Just hit the upper left hand corner and then bring it down. I can tell you the size of this, so I'm going to go ahead and click on the size or the click on the image, go to the right hand side under edit, leave your lock connected, and make the cards be 15.6 in width. That'll make both cards be the A2 size card. Right click on them to choose ungroup. I'm going to take, right click on it again. I'm going to separate the envelopes from the card pieces. Right click to choose ungroup. All right, so we can put the envelopes aside. And now we have our card base here and the piece that goes behind that. I actually want this to be a red color. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on the layers tab. I find the piece here, it'll be highlighted over there. Make that be a red color. Bring that down here. That's gonna go behind that. I'm gonna right click on it again and choose copy and right click again and choose paste. For every card we make, we want two pieces. You want one piece for the inside mat like that, and then one piece to go behind the detailed cut. But I do want this to be a white color. So I'm going to change that and make it be a white color there. All right, so that card is done. Now we have this piece here. I think I'm going to make it be a cream color, but I'm going to go to my Layers tab and make it be like just a different color yellow. And then the piece behind that, I'm actually using a pattern paper, so I'll leave it be this color gray. But I do want to right click again and choose copy and right click again and choose paste. So I'm using a pattern paper for the piece that goes behind the detailed cut and the piece that goes on the inside. I want that to be white. I'm going to find it over here and change it to be a white color. All right, top toolbar, click on go. So we have our one envelope and our other one. They're both the same envelopes. We have this piece here, that card base the red piece to go behind this one, and then our white piece is there. I'm actually gonna go back and make this one here also be a white color. Right click on, oops, go to my layers tab rather. Click on that and make it be white. Okay, go back up top and click on go. All right, so we have all of our pieces here and our three whites there. All right, bottom right, click on go. 
I'm going to cut these out on the table and put our cards together. All right, we have the Just Because card cut out. It's at the envelope aside. And again, I'm just going to kind of gently press those score marks. It's a little bit of crease. Um, a subscriber friend of mine, I want to say it was Peggy, that that's a really good tip. If you have a hard time folding that, just take a roller. That would work as well. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. All right, so we have that. Then what I wanted to do is take some designer paper, or just, you know, pattern paper. Because the pattern is really busy, but I want to grab some white to kind of fill it in a little bit. I didn't want to, you know, because if you just put the pattern here, let me show you. The words just because it's kind of hard to read, and I just noticed I have a little square that did not pop out right there. I'm going to grab that. Okay. So we're just going to kind of wing it. Grab a piece of, you know, you can use whatever color cardstock you want. I'm going to go with white. And I want to cover up the words just and the word because. I'm going to flip it over this way. Okay, I don't really want the crease of my letter or the, my paper to be between the two words. All right, that's going to work. I'm going to grab that scotch glue with the dauber end. I really do like that glue. It does, it is a wet glue, which I do like because it gives you wiggle room, but sometimes it'll make the card stock, um, what's the word, warp. All right, so we have that. I want to cut a little bit of curve out of this one here. So it's just kind of mimics. Oh, you can see I'm just winging it. Nothing professional here. All right, that's going to work for there. I think a, any color paper would look good here. And that the uh, pattern paper I'm using is a really old, well, maybe not. Um, I think it is an old one, a Stampin' Up! paper. All right, so we have that, right? All right, now, there's no white paper on the inside, so I'm using this one. And again, we're going to go with that same piece of scrap paper here. The same glue, and just kind of loosely daub all of this. If you were to use the art glitter glue, you could use that as well. I just think the glue might dry before you get to the next layer. Okay, so take that, take this away, and put this in there. So this time in this card we have paper versus the actual card. I'm going to flip it over, grab my bone folder again, and just really push down on these edges here. Make sure that paper and glue sticks. Okay, so there's the front, right? Super cute. Now, for the inside, we have the white piece here. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I want to incorporate these two pieces. So I just cut off a piece just like that. I think it's a half inch. I'm going to take that. I'm going to put this toward the one end, really close to the edge, because it is a half inch. And I want to take up a whole lot of room on the inside of the card. And take another piece, a little bit smaller, half inch wide as well. And this will go this way so it brings in both colors of the card. In the outside, we have the dotted pattern. And on the inside, we're going to have this piece here. I'm going to trim off that extra piece right there. I cut it a little bit too big. All right. And we're just going to put this on the inside. So real simple. Whoop. Tony, you guys, if you watched the first video, I explained why I did not have a video for Friday for my Pinterest. It just, I have a really bad headache, and it just seems like it's completely interrupting me. I can't even think straight. All right. So we have that. So pretty simple. Then we have the envelope, and I'm sorry I did not embellish the envelope. Like I said, sometimes we will, sometimes we won't. Um, if I had more of that paper, I probably would have made a paper envelope. So that, that kind of gives you guys an idea what you want to do with the envelope there. All right, so I'm going to take this and crease all this. I see I've gotten glue right there. I think I use that for a scrap paper. I will make that on the outside. So I'm going to put the glue right there. And then I'll glue at the bottom. Alrighty. Give that a crease there and a crease there. Make sure it 
stays closed. If you want to, if I had, like I said, if I had more of that paper, you could put a little diagonal piece of that paper on there. But there's that card, and then there's an envelope. All right, let's move on to number 12. All right, guys, here we are at card number 12. First, I'm going to go ahead and do our envelope to get that out of the way. glue. I'm using art glitter glue for the envelope piece here. Just put it on the one flap, bring that one over, and grab the bottom. Oop. Okay, take my bone form, just give that a good crease there. Let that sit there and set up. So our envelope is done for the most part. Now, I did a um, green card because it was a get well card, and I always seen, you know, green emojis that were like the ones that weren't feeling good so I thought it would be fine. Alright, take that, we fill that in half, save this part that cuts out. We're actually going to grab this on our envelope right here. I'm going to bring in a piece of scrap paper and this time I'm using the scotch glue that has a dauber end to it. I'm just going to take it, kind of daub it here and there to help hold that piece down. I'm going to put this on the front of the envelope going on the side here. Press it down. Whoops. Then we'll just go ahead and cut off the extra. Flip it over. Take our scissors and cut the extra off. That actually looks really cute on the front of that. Alright, so the, our envelope is done. Alright, now for the inside, what I'm using is um, tissue paper. I'm going to crumble it up. This is um, Cricut, or not Cricut, um, stamp up tissue paper, but any tissue paper you have is fine. All right, we have our two pieces for the card that cut out. You can open this guy up, but I want it to be really, really crinkly. So give it a few scrunches there. Open that up carefully without tearing it. Okay. Take my Darber glue again on these two, on this piece. Really, really cover that up and place this on there, smooth it out. All right, so what I'm going to do is just take my glue and just give that end here a nice roll. All right, now we're going to trim off all the extra that we have. So basically, all we're doing is just covering that red, the white piece up with the red. one here. And on this piece. Okay. There we're good. I think I'm going to cut a little bit more off that. Okay, now let's grab the inside of our card. I'm going to bring in that scrap paper with that same glue and just carefully go around the lettering and these pieces here. Just going to dog them a little bit. Alright, take my art glitter glue and fill in the empty areas here where I know that big white piece is going to go. Alright, take this piece. And you want to be careful around the edges because the lettering does cut out really super close to the edge. So just keep that in mind when you're putting your glue around the edge of this piece here. Move that out of the way and bring this piece in. All right, now we're going to carefully place it in there. And again, I'm going to kind of hold it down and grab that glue bottle. If you have a brayer, you can use that too, or a dowel rod, or whatever you have. Just to really give it, I'm actually going to grab this glue just to really make sure that's staying down because it's just tissue paper. All right, it looks pretty good. Now for the inside we have the other piece of white and you know you can use a scrap like this for the bottom of the card. How I did, I did it on the corner here. I think this time we'll just use it for the bottom. Our card's going that way so I do want, I just noticed here 
I did not put glue on these little pieces, so kind of go in there and grab those. I just press them down. Okay, so I have this piece that was an extra, and again, we're going to grab that same glue here. Take this, grab your card piece here, and just lay that. I don't want it to be too, too big though, so I'm only going to go maybe about a half inch on that. Give that a rub, and then we're going to, of course, trim off the extra pieces. So if you don't have construction paper, or not construction paper, where's my head? Um, tissue paper, you could take a marker and um, Use a brown, like a brown lunch bag, and do the same thing. Just color in, you know, because that red is only actually going right there, so you don't even need you don't even need a big piece of it. And just do it that way as well, or just use red, you know, red paper. All right, so go ahead and glue this one down, and we are done. I really do like how this card turned out with the red and green, mainly because the envelope. I think the envelope is super cute. All right, so there, my friends, is that card there. Like this one, and then we have the envelope here, and I can see I need to cut up a little bit more of that. I'm just gonna grab that piece there, and that's gonna go inside like this. Okay, so if somebody you love is down and down the kind of down under, under the weather, you can mail them a really cute card. But anyway, guys, there you have it, card number nine, or number 10 number 11 and number 12. Um, any questions, guys, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.